tut ihr, lieben Bakerlein? Ja, wer meine privaten Videos schon kennt von meinem anderen Kanal, den ich euch hier oben hinpacke, weiß, dass wenn ich hier stehe, die Wahrscheinlichkeit ziemlich groß ist, dass irgendwas auf der Messe passiert. Und wir haben heute den 19. November und der kundige 3D-Druckler weiß natürlich, dass entsprechend an dem Tag die Form Next hier in Frankfurt wieder startet. Und ich würde sagen, wir labern nicht lange rum, sondern gehen rüber. Es ist kalt, es ist regnerig, es ist nass und wir schauen mal, was da drüben alles los ist. So, und da sind wir am Stand von 3D mit Petro Lima und die haben hier eine ganz besondere und ganz schöne Lösung zum Recyceln und zum Herstellen von Filamenten in einer kleinen Ordnung. Hi Petro. Hello, how are you? Great, and you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. So Petro, tell us about this beauty here. What can you do with this? So this guy uh, is our plastic shredder, which is the first step of a material processing, recycling and developing solution. So basically, this machine allows you to grind your field parts, your scrap material, your support items, uh, and plastic waste in general, and just uh, basically recycle. That sounds awesome. So you can basically shred everything with this, right? Everything with plastic? Yeah. This shredder allows you to shred pretty much any polymer out there so okay. as long as you know the polymer that you have at hand you should be able to process it. Okay and how does the material come out here? Uh, so how does it look? Yeah so for instance here today we have like some PLA field prints mm -hmm. so basically should I turn on the shredder? Yes of course. Turn on the uh, shredder you go so the material is on the shredder the machine is gonna grind it And then in the end you have something like this, which is the uh, output with the particle fine enough to be put into the next process, part of the process. Which will be? Which will be drying the filament. Okay, let's head over to the dryer. So, and this is the dryer. That's right, this is the dryer, which is the second part of the process. So you take your regrinds from the shredder, what we have just shredded, and then you put into the dryer. How does that work? Why is that important? Because you have to get rid of moisture in order to be able to process your material, right? Mm -hmm. So you put your material inside the hopper, uh, the machine is gonna blow hot air towards the polymer, towards the material. It can be powder, it can be regrind, or it can be virgin material. And while the material is inside the hopper, there's a steering arm, which is gonna keep the material moving, so all the moisture can be blown away. So it won't stay stick in there and stay still in there, it will be moved in the, in the hopper. Exactly, the material is gonna be still in the hopper while it gets, it gets it's steered by the steering arm, so all the moisture gets blown away when the hot air comes through. That's awesome. And from this one we go to the extruder. Yeah, right. from this one we're gonna take the material when it's dried and then we go to the filament maker so we can transform that into filament. Perfect. So and now we put our fresh dried material up here? Or yeah, so this, this is the last part of the process which is transforming the, the material into filament. So we take the dried material we put inside the hopper as you can see And then the material is going to pass through the four different heating zones where it's going to get melted and blended. After that, it, it comes through the nozzle, it's cooled up, it's measured up by the optical sensor, and then it goes to the spooling system, which is going to get spooled. How big is the tolerance on this machine? These machines, they, they're equipped with an optical sensor and they can be logged to any computer. So you, have, you can have a good control over your, the quality of your filament and the diameter, which uh, deviates around uh, 500 microns max, so 0.05 millimeters. And what materials am I able to uh, extrude on this machine? Are I able to extrude PLA, PCG, of course, ABS? Yeah, these machines, they go up to 450 degrees, so meaning that you can extrude all uh, low melting point materials like you just mentioned, PLA, ABS, PET, PET-G, TPUs, TPEs. 
KPU. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you can also go up to high-end materials such as Peak, uh, Pack, PPSU, PSU, uh, OTEM, you name it. So this machine gives you flexibility to process any uh, polymer out there. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Thank you for having me and see you next time. See you next year. Bye bye. Bye bye. So our our cost core business is selling flexible materials. Yes. So okay. So we have three different grades. Yes. The best seller is 82A. Yeah. And then you have a harder one, 95A, yes. and the softer one, 70A. Okay. That means uh, the shore hardness. Right? That's shore hardness. That's uh, it. And all materials are here presented, right? Yes. That's it. This is 70A. Okay, that's so, very, very flexible. Very flexible. Yes, okay. Then you have the best seller, the 82A. It's okay. flexible as well. Okay, may I? Well, yeah, sure. Thank you. It will be harder. Okay, good. Okay. Some of the clients use uh, 70A for printing insoles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so was, yeah, okay. Okay. And then you have the, um, well, for, for people that haven't printed uh, flexible, we have the 95A. It's okay. a little bit flexible, mm -hmm. okay. more similar to the, yeah, the one, the rigid one, like mm -hmm. PLA and so okay. on. Then we have uh, PTG, PTG yeah. okay. And now we've introduced the polypropylene. Okay. Okay, in this fair in particular, and uh, we have created, created a uh, primer. Yes. So we don't have any problem with warping. That is very common so using have, polypropylene. So you have your own bed adhesion, or that's that's it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you, is this a special solution, or see? Yes. It's a very special solution. Uh, you have to use it uh, before you start printing. Yeah. The bed uh, must be 40 degrees mm -hmm. hot, and then when you finish the printing, yeah. you go up until 80 degrees, yes. and you uh, take off the piece. So, okay. Okay. And you have some prints here that, that are very sturdy, that are very tough, right? yes. like the helmet over here. This is the polypropylene. <laughs> That, that's polycarbonate. Polypropylene. Uh, polypropylene, yeah. yeah. That's very hard. Yes, hard and light. Yeah.